Why do you get goosebumps? Have you ever experienced that strange feeling of tiny bumps rising on your skin without any obvious cause? That's what we call goosebumps, and it happens to almost everyone. But why? What is the biological purpose of goosebumps, and why do we get them? Goosebumps are caused by tiny muscles around the base of each hair follicle called erector pili muscles. When these muscles contract, they pull on the hair follicles, causing the skin to rise and the hair to stand up. This reaction is known as piloerection, and it's an involuntary response to certain stimuli. The most common triggers of goosebumps are fear and surprise. When people are afraid, the body's natural fight or flight response kicks in. This response is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system and causes the erector pili muscles to contract. This causes the hairs on the body to stand up, creating the feeling of goosebumps. Another cause of goosebumps is emotional arousal. People often get goosebumps when they're moved by a powerful piece of music, a movie, or a book. This is because emotional arousal triggers the release of hormones like adrenaline, which can cause the erector pili muscles to contract. Goosebumps may also be caused by cold temperatures. When the body is cold, the sympathetic nervous system causes the erector pili muscles to contract, making the hair stand up in an attempt to create an insulating layer of air around the body. Now that we know what causes goosebumps, let's look at why they exist. It's believed that goosebumps were once an evolutionary advantage. When our ancestors were threatened by predators, the sudden appearance of goosebumps could have made them look bigger and more intimidating, potentially scaring away the predator. Goosebumps may also have been a way of signaling danger to other humans. When one person experienced fear or surprise, the sudden appearance of goosebumps could have signaled this to the others, allowing them to prepare for a potential threat. Finally, goosebumps may have been a way of keeping us warm. When the body is cold, the hairs stand up in an attempt to create an insulating layer of air around the body. This extra layer of air can help keep the body warm and insulated. Today, goosebumps are no longer an evolutionary advantage, but they still serve an important purpose. They can help us recognize when we're feeling fear or surprise and can help us prepare for potential danger. They can also help keep us warm in cold temperatures. So the next time you experience goosebumps, remember that they're there for a reason. They may be an evolutionary leftover, but they're still a useful reminder to stay vigilant and keep ourselves safe.